Hey guys, it's Paul. I am back with our third box of Sorcery Contested Realm. Uh, this, these are the beta boxes. I'm going to try and get through this box a lot quicker than we got through that second box. So we cut down this, the time on the second box eight minutes from what the first box was. Hey, a box topper. Our second box was missing that. Um, my goal is to get this video done in under 18 minutes. We'll see if we can do that. Um, It'll be fun to try. I am going to be moving a lot quicker, especially through the uh, common slot, basically just looking for foils and curios. Uh, yes, I know that they're now called curios. Giant Shark, Vanguard Knights, Shield Wall, and we have an Elite Manticore. All right, let's see. Grapple Shot, Blizzard, Extinguish, Scorpions, Common Sense, Harpoons. thought that was a foil. Cavalry, Bears, Ogre, and... Desert. Once again, my standard disclaimer is I know just enough to be dangerous about this game, but not enough to be knowledgeable. Um, this is now going to be the third weekend, the third Saturday that these videos have gone up. Angel's Egg. All right. Very nice. Elite. Um, I am opening this third box up only two days after I opened up the other, the first two boxes. So I opened the first two boxes in one day, and now I'm going to open up two boxes today. Um, and of course, this is all within like the first week that these have been out. Hey, a mix. We have a mix Aqua. That is a very nice looking card. Um, one of the Power Nine. I'm saying that just to let you guys know the prices on these cards could have speculate, could have fluctuated dramatically between when I am filming this and when you're viewing it. So there is about a two and a half week lag time. So we have our first foil. We have a recall, exceptional magic of last resort. Very cool looking. That's very nice looking. Um, let me see here. I messed up real fast. I just want to put my stuff back in order. There we go. Had the Elite mixed in. So as of the filming of this video, sealed boxes of sorcery are basically $150. Again, when I'm filming, hey, Ghost Ship, that is a brand new Elite for us. That is cool looking. That looks like uh, uh, Davy Jones' ship from Pirates of the Caribbean. That looks awesome. So the price seems to have stabilized. Okay, we have um, Ordinary Beasts, Melissa Benson card, the Scarabs in foil. Yeah, prices went down just slightly a day ago. I should have purchased, um, I, had, I had a bunch of more sealed boxes in my shopping cart, but just didn't pull the trigger on them. Uh, we have an avatar in our elite spot. The Elementalist. Your avatar of wonder and awe. I, was gonna, I thought I was going to say wonder and woe. So, yeah, I'm kind of kicking myself. I could have bought several boxes for about 137 yesterday, and I didn't. And today, they're, the cheapest boxes would be like 148 But anyway, it seems like supply and demand is pretty stable. Um, it's found a little bit of an equilibrium, so I think it's a pretty healthy uh, economy, if you will, for right now. It's not crazy like Alpha was, where, you know, right off the bat, it's like $300 a box, and then just climbed upwards from there pretty quickly. Okay, we have the Cyclops. That's a brand new exceptional. I have never seen that one. So that's pretty cool. Bridge Troll, I like that one. And we have Flame Wave as our Elite. So I ended up watching a couple of videos yesterday just, um, just to see other people opening up packs and see what their luck was like because our second box had one Elite foil but no Unique. So I wanted to see if you were supposed to get a unique foil in each box. The Infiltrate as our Elite. 
and apparently unique foils are approximately approximately four out of every case of six boxes is so four unique foils for a case of six booster boxes are the approximate odds now with that said i watched one guy open up a box he got no uniques no elites in one box but then the very next box he got three unique foils um that was pretty crazy all right bull demons of adum that's a new elite for us we have not seen that one yet kind of cool looks like japanese artwork like in the style of japanese i'm saying that just from uh you know watching ink master and seeing japanese tattoos it, that that reminds me that artwork reminds me of that our third foil we have the goons there so far one exceptional foil and two ordinaries nothing to get too excited about oh quagmire i think that might be a new one these sight cards these landscape cards are just amazing looking telekinesis another landscape lighthouse that's the bob ross one and then we have a replication we got that in foil i don't think i've ever seen that in regular but i could be wrong about that but we did get that in foil out of our first one hey there's an elite foil right there that is crater eyes and uh, that looks pretty cool I like this meteorite maybe hitting and just like you just see the beginning of the explosion of shockwave going out that foil effect is pretty cool if you guys can see that so and no matter what happens we have at least an elite foil out of this box shifting sands we have another foil flanking maneuver the gnomes hey royal bodyguard oh this is cool looking elite mortal of steadfast loyalty all right that's by liz danforth one of the original magic artists i believe either that or dungeons and dragons i can't remember which but i know the name so very cool looking card that's a new one for us all right we have miracle workers we're back to ordinary foils the miracle workers and nothing else it doesn't look like that so learning a little bit about the curios that is a bit intimidating to me i'm gonna have to go through all of my cards with a pretty fine tooth comb the ruins it's a dual hand let's see buried treasure i love the artwork on that one and then we have maddening bells we found that one before um so the curios will come in these final 10 cards 11 cards of the pack no the final final the final 10 cards not including this one um and it will be basically a non-ordinary in the ordinary spot And they are super rare. Okay, that was the end of the right-hand column. Now we're on to the middle stack. Now the guy I was watching last night was saying the middle stack is where like all the unique hits are. I feel like our right-hand stack in that box was pretty good for foils. Aqueduct, another, another duel land. And we have Atlas Wanderers as our elite. All right. Still looking for a winter river. Um, not sure if it, if it exists or not. I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one be opened yet. Wings of Invention. Cool looking card. Very bright. Elvira Shukarova is the artist. Oh, wow. This is a new card. Bedrock. An exceptional site of unyielding solidity. Can't be moved, destroyed, or modified. Very nice. All right, and then we have the Island of Leviathan. We've seen that before. Elite Site of Dormant Monstrosity. And we are on to our Ordinaries. Nothing that exciting. Beautiful artwork, but nothing super rare there. And nor is there supposed to be. 
Ooh, the Spire Lich. Guess it's a lich that lives in a spire. If Spire Lich is atop a tower, it has plus two power. Ranged and spellcaster. All right. The Boneyard. Ooh, a unique, a unique sight brimming with death. Genesis. Each player may summon a minion from their cemetery here. Ooh, that sounds like a pretty powerful ability. All right, our first unique of the box right there. There should be a lot more to come. I'm going slower on those commons because I was reading to make sure I saw ordinary on everything. <laughs> have to speed up if I want to get my time for the video down. All right, beautiful Jeff Easley artwork there with the mummies, Poison Nova, Sea Raider, and we have our next unique. We have the manuscript. We've seen that one before. We have that. Let's see, nothing, nothing unusual in the common spot. Another lighthouse. Spider. Caven. Might be the first Caven. That is pretty cool looking. That looks almost realistic. That tree like shoved down in there. All right. Oh, we gilded Aegis. That is another unique. Not that expensive, but a unique. All the, all the same, and it is one that we don't have. Swan Maidens. I don't remember that from the Ordinaries. So far, three uniques. Oh, a Windmill. It's a dual land. Recall it. That's the regular. Quagmire. And, oh, we have a core. We have the Amethyst core. This, was, this, this is the core that I wanted to see the most. Right here, the purple core. So it's the Amethyst core. Um, again, Melissa Benson did a tremendous job on these. I like that they used one artist for all the cores, and I'm happy it was Melissa Benson. A unique relic of ethereal essence. Dryads, mermaids, firebolt, stalker, overpower. And, oh, wow. Okay, we have a foil death speaker. So a foil avatar. Right there. Very cool. That was a good hit pack. I think in that first box that we opened, uh, Shannon edited it for me, so I didn't get a chance to see. I'll have to watch the video back. I think we ended up getting the... Oh, what core was it? I think it was the... Oh, it was the like yin-yang core. Um, plus, we ended up getting the foil Geist Land which is like a super rare, unique land, apparently. Um, there has only been one foil. Oh, no! On, on eBay that I've seen of that so far. So it, it's obviously a, a very, very tough one to find. The Watchtower. That's cool. Um, so that's the second time I think we found a core plus a foil. Screaming Skull, Melissa Benson. That is a... Oh, that's an elite. I thought that was a unique. My mistake. I need to learn how to read. All right. Let's see. Mariner's Curse. Tide Nyad. Sunken Treasure. And we have the All-Terrain Vestments. We're back to the Elites. And nothing of note in the common spot. All right, we have the iceberg. Waypoint portal. Boy, that's that is cool looking. That's another Jeff Easley. Well, that's gorgeous. I love that bright green. Phantasmal shade. And we have Primordial Spring, an elite site of primordial primeval bounty. Reminds me of the islands of Avatar at Disney World. Swan Maiden, Mermaids, Stalker, Overpower, Disenchant, Cloud Spirit, Pirate Ship, Sandstorm, and Vile Imp. Hey, Vile Imp. Bone Tower. Alright, 
three packs left for that middle row. We have Mudflow, Phantasmal Shade, and Werewolf. We have Scorched Earth, Elite Magic. Drown, Mercenary, Scarecrow, Blink, 182. Oh, it'd be cool if 182 was the collector number. There's no collector number on these. Grapple Shot. And we have an Elite, another Elite Foil. An Elite Beast of Cascading Splendor, the Ascalon Phoenix. There we are. Pretty cool looking. Let's see, Plumed Pegasus. Kind of cool looking. All right, Whirling Blades, Mariner's Curse, Tide Naiads. Hey, the Land Deed. Pretty cool looking. I think this is the first Land Deed. I wanted to see this one a lot. That is the first one of those. I'd like to find one of those in foil. There's a foil right there. Oh, foil mix. The Mix Ignis in Elite Potion and Pequant Potable. <laughs> I, always, I always think of Jeopardy. <laughs> There always seem to be a category of potent, pot potent potables. There we go. That is pretty gorgeous. Klansman, Exorcism, Wall of Air, and Midnight Rogue, and the Summer River. All right, we have had some pretty big hits out of this middle row. This is the last pack for the middle row. Leap Attack, Flood, Autumn Unicorn, and we have Rest in Peace. An elite aura of grave permanence. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the way that looks. It looks so spooky. All right, we have a troll, dispel, roaming monster, drown, blink, and we have exorcism in foil. That's an ordinary foil, but still pretty cool looking. That reminds me, ooh, that's a lot creepier on the back. You can see it. The foil reminds me of the movie Poltergeist when the beast comes out of the closet. And I'm showing my age there. And we have a sorcerer in non foil to finish out that pack. All right, on to the left hand row. Wings of Invention, Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter, that I believe is a new exceptional for us. And then Floodplain. All right, speaking of Poltergeist, Gross Poltergeist. Right there. Riptides, Zombies, Lance, Mage Slayer, Border Militia, Fade, Unravel, Sleep, Rogue, Lampreys, and Red Desert. All right, crossbow, and let's see, steep, that's a dual land. Pretty cool. Giant shark. Oh, sneak thief. This is an elite, an elite mortal, burgles and borrows. <laughs> that is one that we don't have. Dryads, mermaids, stalker, bowman, overpower, muse, bone rabble, exorcism, crabs, sandworm, and a remote desert. Deserts in a row. All right, let me look at this real fast. We ended up getting out of that center row four uniques. And I think we were getting seven to eight uniques in a box. That means there's probably three in this left-hand row. There was none in the first row, the right-hand row, if you'll remember. Whoa, this is new. Cornerstone, an exceptional site. And Fundament of the Firmament. Oh, this is wild looking. Almost looks like Minecraft or something. All right, we have York Crossbowman, a Quagmire. And hey, there's the Geistwood right there. That is a unique non-foil that we ended up getting the foil of that. So I like the non-foil because I can actually see what these trees are. That looks very cool. Scarab, Sling, Extinguish, 
Scorpions, Viper, Sleep, Nomads, Minor Explosion, Bone Rebel, and Lone Tower to finish out the pack. All right, we have Frontier Settlers. This guy reminds me of Age of Civilization. So, and we have Seven League Boots. Okay, we are getting a lot of the, with, that, with the exception of the Amethyst Core, we're getting a lot of the uh, low dollar uniques. Ice Lance, Incinerate, Dryads, Mermaids, Stalker, Overpower, Snow Leopard, Swamp Buffalo, Sea Serpent, Unravel, and another Desert. It's a very deserty box. Quagmire, Lighthouse, and Shifting Sands. It's like a triple, triple threat of land. And we have Silver Valkyries as our elite. Mad Dash. That might be a new one for us. Caravan, Blood Ravens, Scarabs, Men of Lang, Inkerman, Mannequin, Dromedary, Bats, Surveyor, and another Desert. I haven't seen very many camels in our packs. I mean, there have been some, but not many. We've got a lot of deserts. All right, another cornerstone. When there's one, there's many. Mudflout, Monster Hunter. And we have Stone Gaze Gorgons. Elite monsters gaze longingly from afar. Vipers, Berry, Cauldron, Turtles, Kelpie, Boil, Pirate Ship, Snow Leopard, Sea Serpent, Buffalo, and another desert. I think that was a remote desert. Shackles, Archer, Free City, beautiful, like city drawing there, Eat by Ian Miller. All right, we have the Conqueror Worm. An elite beast expands your demons. Hmm. Pretty cool looking. Um, we have Entangled Terrain. Beast of Burden, Ball of Fire, Blink, Gravel Shot, Blizzard, Morale, Teleport, Polar Bear Sleep, and Rustic Village. What do we have? Five packs left here. We are hoping for a few more uniques. Maybe a unique foil would be nice. Secret Tunnel. Recall Peregrine Apparition. This is a new exceptional for us. I do not remember ever getting this. This is very cool. An exceptional spirit of limitless velocity. And we have the Rift Valley in Elite Sight. Extinguish, Scorpions, Common Sense, Harpoons, Amazon Warriors, Swan Maidens, Minor Explosion, Nomads, Rubble, Crabs, Simple Village. Right, I feel like we should maybe get another foil and a few more uniques. Peregrine Apparition, All Watchtower, and Iceberg. And we have a unique right here. Captain Baldassar. I have never seen this one. So uh, we do not have this one, and nor have I ever seen anybody open this particular one. I have no idea how good this is. A unique mortal of seafaring infamy. Let's see. Whenever Captain Baldassar attacks a unit or site, defending player discards their topmost three spells. Whoa. You may cast each of those spells once this turn, ignoring threshold requirement. Okay. I'm thinking that he might be pretty good. That seems like a pretty good ability. Causing your opponent to discard as well as then you get to cast your opponent's spells. That seems pretty strong to me. Could be wrong. I don't quite know how the mechanics work in this game. But that seems like it would be good. Alright, we have Font of Life. Summoning Sphere, a Recall, and the Vault of Zul, a unique site of Beguiling Riches. Cool looking card. We have not seen that one yet. And no foils. Down to our last two packs. Phantasmal Shade, a Recall, Quagmire. And we have Crater Eyes. In non-foil, so that's an elite. We got the foil earlier, now we have the non-foil. Alright, we have female muse, or uh, Fenvale muse, not female. 
Apprentice Wizards, Critical Strike, Lightning Bolt, Dead of Night Demon, Firebolts, Highland Clansmen, Nomads, Snow Leopard, Wild Boars, and a Humble Village. If you stop by that village, get a piece of pie. Last pack for this box. Box number three coming to a close. We have the Lighthouse, the Frogmen, the Slumbering Giantess, and we have an Elite Titan. Ratanus Titan. An Elite Giant makes an epic entrance. Oh, whoa. Check him out there. I didn't I didn't even see him. I was thinking like it was like a juggernaut, like wheels and stuff. That is cool looking. It's another elite. And no foils in that pack. So let's take a quick peek at our uniques. We have the Vaults of Zul, Captain Baldassar, Seven League Boots, the Geistwood. Amethyst Core, Gilded Aegis, the Manuscript, and the Bone Yard. So a couple of sites that we don't have in the unique spot. Captain Baldassar, I think, is pretty good. And, of course, the Amethyst Core is awesome. So that is, what is that, eight, eight uniques. Our foils for this box were Exorcism, which is Ordinary, the Mix Ignis and Elite, an Elite Phoenix. We got an Avatar. We have Ordinary Miracle Workers. Crater Eyes, another Elite. Ordinary, Ordinary, and Exceptional. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine foils, three of which were Elite, plus an Avatar foil. One of our Elites was a mix, so that's. That's really good. Um, I don't know. I don't think three elites make up for a for a non unique, but it's a toss up. Like had we had we found like a unique of the seven league boots, it I, I would rather have the elites. So there we go. That brings box three to a close. Let me take a quick look here. Oh my gosh, we have twenty seven minutes. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.